Hello, CFI family. Greg Orr here. Got Mr. Hens with us again today, and we wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on at CFI specific to freight volumes and ELDs and all the wonderful things. So, uh, as, as you all know, Mike leads our uh, operations and sales team, and he's very well versed to be able to give us a lot of good insight today. So, welcome, Mr. Hens. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So let's start off today with what is going on at CFI from a freight volume standpoint. Mm -hmm. And I know you've told me a lot of good things that's coming in the pipeline. So can, can we give a good update to the yeah. professional drivers and yeah. see what's going on? We sure can. Um, this will be a, a companion piece to what we put out on podcasts. So if you haven't listened yep. to our podcast, uh, I went into a lot more detail. I'll keep it short and sweet on this one. The freight environment this year, Greg, is materially different than last year. Yep. Last year the freight was just laying on the ground, all we had to do was, was bushel it up. This year we're having to fight for our share a little bit more. Yep. What we're seeing is our customers are taking an opportunity to uh, right size and get their costs in line. And so 80% of our business was actually put out for bid in the first four months of the year. And we lost some and we gained some. Yep. And I would say that last year, typically when we walked in in the morning, we were already sold out. Yep. We were sold out for days in advance. Now we're finding ourselves most mornings about 85% sold out. And so that means throughout the course of the day, customer service and sales are working hard to make sure that guys and gals at the end of the day have freight to pick from. Yep. So it's just a little bit more challenging. Uh, what we've seen is our load count per day is just under 5,000 and it's been that way almost all year long. And we'd like it to really be just a little bit above 5,000. So we're really only fighting for about 150 loads per week more than what we're seeing right now. Yep. And so it's just been uh, slightly more challenging. Now, when I look at what our competitors are going through, it is, uh, we're on the good side yeah. of that. So yeah. we're doing better than most, but we still have room to improve. In terms of improving, the sales team led by Mike Servine is out there beating the bushes every single day, trying to not only gain back some business with our existing customers and grow with them, but we've brought more new customers into our pipeline so far this year than I think anybody's seen in a decade. Yeah. They're smaller to medium-sized customers. You know, they're the doorknobs are us, the Acme bird seeds, the, you know, the smaller ones, and we've had great success. So it's taking a little bit of time, but I am very confident that the second half of the year is really gonna bear fruit for all the work that we put into at the beginning of the year. Yep. So speaking of volume, and to your point, I think we've done a great job in filling the freight bucket. You told me last week we've got probably between 100 and 150 loads that more that we should be awarded here over the next 30 to 45 days, which is really exciting. Right. Days. Uh, but let's talk Mexico real quick. What's going on in Mexico? Have we seen things settle down there? And is it getting back to normal? Well, um, I don't know that it's normal yet because they're still trying to um, digest and understand some of the dialogue coming out of Washington. Yep. And so when people don't know what's next, they have a tendency to act um, what they believe is in their best interests. So when all this talk of tariff, tariffs with Mexico was going on, a lot of U.S. and Mexican companies bought or sold faster than they normally would. Yep. So there was a lot of activity, and so it's always difficult to have your northbound and your southbound freight volumes match up effectively. Yep. And so what we saw was a little bit of uh, out-of-sync behavior, and we're still seeing um, that freight levels get back into what we believe to be a normal state. So I would say that right now the freight is a, on a little bit of a lull with Mexico, uh, but we don't anticipate that being a long-term condition. Right. Um, I'm expecting with all the work that our sales team and our, and our friends are doing down in Mexico and the U.S. sales team and customer service, uh, we're actually ramping up our volumes, but we don't have the, uh, the north and southbound completely synced up yet. Yep. Which is we're, normally the case, right? Yep. And we are launching some new business initiatives down there, yep. um, transloading business where we're seeing a a really good reaction from Mexico uh, customers about transloading business, bringing freight to and from the border within Mexico. We're building out our LTL business in Mexico. Yep. We're making investments in Mexico and recommitting ourselves 
uh, to ourselves and to our customers about our capabilities in Mexico. So I would say we have done more to uh, promote and grow our Mexico business than we've probably seen in a few years, even in spite of all the goofiness yep. that's gone on in the marketplace. We're yep. there to stay. Yep, I would agree. And, and uh, to your point, we're making some very nice investments down there, and I think we'll see the fruits of that labor probably over the next 180 days or so. I would agree. So it's really good to see. So let's hop over to another topic, ELDs. What's going yeah. on with ELDs for all of our professional drivers? Yeah, working with our training team, and our operations team, you've probably gotten some of this information, but our plan is to be 100% ELD compliant by Halloween. Everybody, everybody in the fleet on ELDs by Halloween. Yep. So that means that our training actually started two days ago. <laughs> so we had our first three people in class, our first guinea pigs, they went through it, loved it, and now they're on ELDs. So what I'd like drivers to know is one, you should do some professional reading on your own, you should ask your fleet manager when you can get trained in it, on it. We have training every day of the week, Monday through Friday, here in Joplin at 10 a.m. So if you can get to or you're in Joplin at 10 a.m., come to training. You'll go through the training and you will immediately go to ELDs. Yep. Uh, after we start getting through you know, large chunks of our driver population, then we'll start going out into the field and engaging with drivers and being more creative remotely in, yep. in remote training and at the terminals uh, bringing people here and we'll knock out those last you know couple hundred as we get closer to uh, to the uh, Halloween deadline for us now as a regulation um, we want to be a couple of months ahead of the regulation Absolutely. just in case um, there are some things that don't quite uh, go as planned yep. so it's just like CFI right we're gonna work our tails off now make sure we're ahead of the game, and if we need to do some last minute adjustments, we will. Yep. Uh, from a, drive, from a uh, people net standpoint, they've committed to work with us to make sure everything is as good as it can possibly be, and they also know some future advancements that we want, yep. uh, enhancements on the people net device. So we, we're getting great response from people net. Our team is ready, our training team, drivers, contact your, uh, your uh, fleet manager, and let's get this training set up if you're here in Joplin, 10 o'clock, any day, let's get to training. And the good thing is, is the feedback that we've had so far for our test group has been really positive. Ex right? It's so. been excellent. We're doing the yard moves. Yep. We're do some, doing the personal conveyance. You know, we're making sure that you're set up to maximize and manage your time effectively. Yep, absolutely, which is the key. So, well, let's jump over to another subject. So, we had purchased 450 tractors at the beginning of the year, and just recently we was able to capture another handful of tractors so give us some insight as to what's going on there and what what tweaks are we making to these tractors now too you bet well first of all um, you made a challenge to us and said if you guys earn it I'll get you 50 more tractors yep. and so that's what I want to tell everyone is that wasn't just a happy accident you guys earned the right to get 50 more brand new tractors here by the way that you, you conducted business in the first half of this year. So congratulations on that. Um, Greg, you know, lived up to what the challenge and now we have 50 more trucks. So 500 brand new red, uh, beautiful trucks this year for us to put into the business. Um, about these 50 trucks, 12 speed transmissions. Yep. So we're gonna give that a try. We're looking for feedback. Um, we're also potentially doing some things with the brakes, right? Yep. So we're going to look at the brakes to see if we can't get some upgraded braking systems. So those are really the two things that uh, folks might be interested to learn about. One, thank you for earning the right to get another 50 trucks. And then we're going to do some 12-speed transmission work and uh, look at the brakes. Yeah, and that just to put it in context, folks, that's six million dollars worth of trucks that we're purchasing just in this last round. So that gives you an idea of the investment we're trying to put back into the company and help make your lives easier. So um, you know that that's a huge, huge piece for us to make sure that we can reinvest our dollars, and that's really where we're trying to focus. So, yeah. so last thing, let's talk about the TEL program. I'm sure some drivers have heard of it, some haven't, but give us. Give us a 30 second rundown. So about three months ago, uh, we entered into a partnership with a company called uh, Tractor Equipment Leasing and uh, TEL. And any, if you've been on the uh, Joplin property any time in the last couple of months, you've probably seen some white trucks parked right near the fuel island. Yep. And those trucks are available for lease. 
company drivers can come in and lease those trucks. You need a $1,500 down payment, but essentially $1,500 and uh, you can be your own, uh, your own boss. You can be a, a lease contractor to uh, CFI. And so we've got 27 of those trucks in the last three months, which is a great progress. Our hope is to do that with about, you know, maybe a fleet size of 50 by the end of the year. Yep. And then, you know, we're gonna take a pause and monitor the heck out of it to make sure that it's operating the way we expect it to be operating. We've done two business reviews since we've launched, and what we look at is productivity, maintenance costs, um, safety. You know, are the drivers actually seeing an increase in personal income? Because part of the reason why we're doing this is we want to give drivers to give themselves an opportunity to give themselves a raise. Yep. And so the TEL program is doing everything we thought it would and more. We're 27 from zero to 27 drivers in 90 days. We're going to do it through the rest of the year. Probably another, you know, 20 to 25 trucks yep. is what we're anticipating. If you're interested, uh, talk to your fleet manager. Um, he or she will work with you to determine if this is the right time for you to do it. But it's a great option for our drivers to. It's like career management, Graduate, right? If, right? Yeah, if they, if they want to go to that next level of uh, accountability and responsibility, we want to make sure that we're the company that you do that with. Yep, absolutely. You, you've earned it. Yep. So that's TEL. Yep. So is there any other good news that we're missing that you can think of? Yes, I can, actually. I went, I've been at Michael's. I've been at Tractor Supply in the last two weeks. And when I go into those companies, and I'm meeting with the most senior transportation people they have, and we're having some tough negotiations about price, yep. about volume, about future growth. You know why when I walk into those meetings that, that I'm always on the high ground? It's because our drivers and customer service are delivering such excellent service to the customer. Yep. It's not like they can beat us down about, yeah, why aren't you doing this? And how come you stink at that? And, you know, we'd give you your price increase if you got your service act together. I don't have to have that. Right. I walk into the customers, our salesmen and women walk into the customers, and they've got the service high ground. They've got the professional driver high ground. And they talk to us about how we represent ourselves as how trucking used to be. Yeah. Knights of the road, the professional logistic delivery drivers is, is gives us the, the service and the high ground on those negotiations. And I just want to tell our drivers how much I appreciate it. We really do benefit from the way that you conduct yourself. You're, you've got a good attitude, you're dressed right, your equipment looks great, you go in there and you represent us well. And I just want to share that good news with you and tell you, I really, really appreciate it and thank you on behalf of everybody that doesn't drive a truck. Yep. Absolutely, and I, and I would say you and I have both worked many lives in other companies that haven't had that luxury of being right. able to do that. So it makes it even more important for us to be able to see that and recognize it. And, and to Mike's point, I mean, you guys, uh, I mean, CFI in general, our company, is just who we represent every day. And I think that's what makes us more proud to be able to yeah. be the face once in a while out there with our customers. So with that, folks, we want to say thank you for everything you do out there. It's, it's unbelievable what a great organization we have and what you've created. Um, we're, we're happy to be a part of it and help lead and support it. But uh, more so, we wish you a good, great, a great week. Uh, please be safe out there. And again, thank you for everything you do. Have a great Take care.